Jeremy, thank you. This morning we're talking about an issue that seems to be growing among young people, and that's hearing loss. Yeah, with Christmas right around the corner, also some situations and toys you can avoid to keep this in mind. Joining us this morning, Bill Amrine, who is a hearing instrument specialist. Talk about some of those toys, some situations that we find ourselves in. It can be a celebratory time, but it also can be a loud time yeah, of the year. Right, Bill? Let's start there with... Uh, you know, some of the things we can think about as we uh, are Christmas shopping and going to Christmas events uh, to protect our hearing, especially our young people. Yeah, well, for parents, um, there are some handheld toys that um, can get very, very loud, especially if held against the ear. Over 100 decibels, which can cause, you know, pretty immediate uh, damage. So there's a uh, list online called the Sight and, Sight and Hearing Association Noisy Toys List that they can look at and protect against some of those toys, you know, because if it's loud to them, it's going to be, you know, damaging your young people. And it's something you don't even think about, you know, damaging toys to your eardrums. Yeah. You think about like the children eating it, sticking pieces where they shouldn't go. So talk about, I mean, is there any type of regulation for damaging toys like this? No, not yet. The World Health Organization does have some, um, you know, advisements and things like that. But as of now, there's no legislation against that. So, you know, the parents are the first line of defense at this point. There's been a, a seemingly rise in issues with this. Uh, toys have become more advanced. You know, earbud, everybody has earbuds. Uh, talk about the big picture and some of the things right. that we're seeing now when it comes to uh, young people, children into their teens and right. issues with hearing. Right. Well, personal listening devices and, um, you know, uh, uh, loud, uh, loud entertainment venues um, are causing, you know, uh, hearing damage in over a billion people aged 12 to 34. And at Belltone, you know, we see uh, the, you know, the, the effects of long-term hearing loss on speech processing, causing dementia all the time. So, you know, to have hearing loss at that young of an age is alarming. And when something happens that young, is there any way of recouping it or repairing it? No. Once it's gone, it's, it's gone, and it's going <clears> to <throat> keep getting worse. And, of course, you could have genetic predispositions to it as well, so it compounds, you know. Now, you've heard the saying, if it's too loud, you're too old. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, uh, we've all been in situations, concerts, really loud events. Uh, let's talk about concerts. There are ways to enjoy the concert with maybe not all the noise also, which can make it even uh, more enjoyable knowing you're not doing damage to yourself while you're enjoying your favorite band. Yeah, correct. Um, yeah, I mean, I love live music. It's been a big part of my life, so I wouldn't ever want people not to support live music. But um, like Fender, who's a guitar maker, they make non-occluding ear earbuds that are kind of a swivel design that go down in the ear. So it protects the high frequencies, which is where you get your lyrics and things like that. So you can still enjoy the concert but um, you know protect yourself so those are online as well so the best advice for parents especially this holiday season as it pertains to toys because most of them probably have that holiday shopping done already just went down the list didn't think about even checking right. to see this because this is something I hadn't heard of before you really brought it up right I mean and and it was it was very surprising to me some of these decibel levels when I saw that list so you know just the general rule of thumb is if it's if it seems loud to you just remember how close your kid is to it especially if it's a handheld toy um, you know it, so they because at 10 inches away the decibel levels do drop quite a bit but you know there were some that were still registering over 90 decibels um, which you know at 30 minutes 90 decibels can damage your hearing so you know 10 inches is not at the you know um, often within their arm's reach, you know. Well, Great stuff. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Know, you something very to much. think about. We want to have fun, but we want to stay safe. Yes, and hearing we do. Is part of that. Yes, right. we do. Thank you. All right, thank you.